Hey, what's up guys? This is BNB and a new tutorial as you saw in the intro of this video. Today's project is about making an Arduino digital clock based on the plexiglass light display. That's why we call it Lixi Display. This is gonna be an amazing project, so let's get started. As always, I make this project presentation where I collect some data from the internet about the project that we are about to create. So starting with the basics, we need to define first the Lixi display method and how it works. The principle is as simple as this, once you cut a plexiglass part and make some laser engraved logos or shapes, you can light up these shapes by placing an LED near any side of the part sides. And in our case, we will engrave the numbers from 0 to 9 in 10 parts and we will do the same thing 4 times for 4 digits. You can add also two dots to distinguish the hours and the minutes. After that, we will make a design that could hold all these plexiglass parts together and place two LEDs in the bottom side of each plexiglass part, so we have a total of 82 LEDs. About the wiring of all these LEDs with the Arduino, we will solder the anodes of the same rows together to get 10 rows and the cathodes of the same columns together to get a matrix of 10 rows for columns. About the dots, it's easy to control them. After that, it will be so easy to turn on and off the desired digit using the Arduino code. And if you want to get the basics of how to control LEDs of the same matrix, you can refer to our video where I explained how to control a cube of LEDs using the matrix method. I will use also a RTC module to restore the time and date configuration once the device is turned off and I will use a buzzer for the alarms and a Bluetooth module to interface the device using an Android application. Since the Arduino Ono hasn't the necessary number of pins to connect all these components together, then I will use a GPIO extension integrated circuit which is MCP23017. Starting with the laser engraving and cutting parts, I made this design using SOLIDWORKS software and you can get the DXF files from the download link in the description down below. After preparing the design, I have got my parts very well manufactured and ready for the action. Moving to the electronics, I have created this circuit diagram that includes all the necessary parts required for this project and I transformed this, is, this circuit into a customized PCB design and all what I need now is to produce my PCB. For sure, I moved it to GLC PCB, the best PCB supplier, in order to get the best PCB manufacturing service. After some simple clicks, I have uploaded the appropriate Gerber files of my design and I set some parameters and this time we will try the golden spot option. Just 4 days after placing the order and my PCBs are here. And as you see guys we get a gift from GLC PCB and the PCBs are very well produced with the design shape, the logos and the beautiful golden spots. Before start soldering the electronic parts, let's review the components list of our project. So we will need the PCB that we have ordered from GLC PCB, 80 Mega 328 which is the UNO MCU, MCP 23017, 222 picofarad capacitors, 330 ohm resistors, the RTC module components, 60 MHz quartz oscillator, a Bluetooth module, a buzzer, some terminal connection, 80 blue LEDs, two white LEDs, and the laser cutted parts. You can find in the description of this video all ordering links in case you want to buy the same components as mine. 
Now everything is ready, so let's start soldering our electronic components to the PCB. And to do so, we need a soldering iron and a solder coil wire. As you can see, using this PCB is so easy due to its very high quality making and without forgetting the labels that will guide you guys while soldering each component because you will find on the top silk layer a label of each component indicating its placement on the board. And this way, you will be 100% sure that you will not make any soldering mistakes. I have soldered each component to its placement and you can use both sides of the PCB to solder your electronic components. About the RTC components, you can solder them or you can buy an RTC module and use it through this connector over here. Now we have the PCB ready and all the components soldered very well. We move the second part of the hardware assembly which is the LED connection. As you can see here, we have a hole for each LED, so just use some glue to place the LEDs and then solder all the anodes of the same rows together and the cathodes of the same columns together. You will have 14 wires for the matrix, so just screw them as it indicates the PCB. All what we need now is the software. I have made this Arduino code for you guys and you can get it for free from the link in the description down below. The code is very well commented so you can understand it your own and adjust it for your own needs. We need the Arduino Uno board to upload the code into our 80 mega 328 MCU. Then we take the MCU and we place it in its socket on the PCB. We need an external 5 volt power adapter to turn on the device. We continue the assembly by placing the plexiglass parts, each one to its placement, and we screw the connection points. And here we are.
The clock works very well and we can use this Android app to adjust the time and to set some alarms. As you see guys, this project is so easy to make and an amazing one, especially with these shiny blue lights that could be your best DIY clock. But still some other improvements to perform in order to make it much more better, that's why I will be waiting for your suggestions to improve this Lexi clock. Do not forget to thumb this video if you like it and to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more awesome videos. And do not miss to watch our previous projects. One last thing, make sure that you are doing electronics every day. It was BMB from Megadas. See you next time.